What's cracking, everybody? Since I did that review of the Porlex hand crank grinder that I'm giving away to a friend of mine, figured I'd go ahead and do a review of my everyday grinder, my Baratza Encore. Baratza is the undisputed champion of the home grinder world. If you need a grinder for your house and you're a coffee nerd and you want something electric that you can plug in, you gotta go check out Baratza. They got something for you. And my favorite is their entry-level grinder. It's the one that I have, it's called the Encore. Now this grinder will run you about 129 bucks on Amazon, probably around 150 bucks from a specialty coffee retailer. Baratza also has a refurbished program, so sometimes if they're available, you can get these things refurbished direct from Baratza for 89 bucks, which is a killer deal. And yeah, even for their base model, it's not a super cheap grinder, but you get a proper grinder. It's way more convenient than that little whirly blade grinder you've been using. It's got a proper hopper, you can either keep beans in there or load them in as you use them. I usually load them in as I use them. It's got a little grounds bin to store the grounds so you don't have to like pull the lid off and dump them back out or anything like that. It's got a pretty rad little conical burr set in there. You get 40 stops of adjustment. To adjust it, you just click the hopper. And with those 40 stops of adjustment, you're getting a pretty huge range in particle sizes. You could do anything from a 24 hour cold brew on a really coarse grind, French press, drip, and you can kind of even fake espresso, which I do sometimes with my Maya Pressi at home. Although if you're really thinking about diving into the world of home espresso, you might wanna pay up a little bit more and get something that's just got quite a bit more adjustment to it. It's got an on off switch on the side or it's got a little pulse switch on the front. So if you hold down that button, it'll give you coffee whenever your finger's on the button. I just use the on off switch because it seems way more convenient and quite a bit easier. The reason that this grinder is my favorite grinder in their lineup um, and I like it more than some of the more expensive ones, isn't because the expensive ones aren't good, it's that this one is just so good at such a great price point. It does everything that I want it to do for a home grinder. If you're gonna be making pour overs, French press, basically any kind of coffee by the cup and you don't need something that's got that hyper adjustability for espresso, this is gonna handle all your needs. You don't need anything else. When you do step up into their higher range of grinders, you get a little bit of better build quality, a little more metal. This thing is all plastic, but I've had mine forever, for years and years and years and years. This is actually the second one I've had, and I got rid of the first one, not because it broke, but because I just gave it to my mom because she needed a grinder, and that thing is just, I can't even remember how long I've had it for, so it's probably not gonna ever break on you. The only thing I don't like about it, which is so minor, is that when you pull the grounds bin out, you get these little tiny dustings of coffee grounds on your counter and you just gotta kinda brush them off, but really, it's no big deal. And the grind consistency is just fantastic. You're not getting anywhere near this quality for 129 bucks, it's just not gonna happen. So if you're thinking about making the plunge to a proper, real electric grinder, you don't want a hand crank, you don't mind spending a little bit of money, this is your jam. You could probably find a burr grinder for a little bit less money. You might be able to find something in the 50 to $75 range, but the quality on this is so good that I can just say, save up a little extra cash, wait another month or something, and then pull the trigger. You will probably have this thing for the rest of your life, and the only reason to really upgrade is because you want to, not because you need to. Baratza Encore, man, 129 bucks. Go get it. They did not pay me to say this. I just love it that much.